Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be talking about something a little bit special. Now the month of March is a very special month for me as it is my one year channel anniversary. So I'm going to be doing a few videos talking about myself and how I got to where I am. So this is the first one that I'm doing and this is uh, the watercolour palette that I used when I first got back into watercolours. It's a cheap colour palette from a stationery shop, WH Smith, here in the UK. It cost me about £5 for the entire set. There are 12 colours included. They don't come with colour names, however I can probably guess what they are. Being Cadmium Yellow Lemon, Hue, Yellow Ochre, Sap Green, um, probably Viridian, Ultramarine Blue, Prussian Blue, Cadmium Red Light, Magenta, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Black and White. The paint inside the palette itself is quite dry and quite chalky. This is a student grade palette, so this is definitely something to be expected. It does come with quite a lot of paint, probably around about a half pan, no, probably around about a full pan just under a paint. So I'm painting some colour wheels here using two different triads. One is using yellow ochre, the cadmium red light and the Prussian blue. The other one, the ultramarine, the lemon yellow and the magenta. And I'd mess them up a little bit and put them in the wrong places. I do apologise. But you can sort of see what sort of colours you can get from it. And as normal with student grade paint, they do dry a little bit differently and have a larger colour shift. This was the first palette that I used back about two years ago when I first got back into the medium. I found it suitable for then and I will be doing another colour video on my previous artworks as well, what I did when I first started. If you want a sneak peek of those, you can see them. They are my very first posts on Instagram, all the way back from 2016. I did use this palette quite a bit, and some of those images can be found there on my Instagram or on my DeviantArt page, which was used with these colours. So I'm also going to do a painting of an old painting that I did, so a repaint. I will show you a picture at the end of the original and then the new version which I'm doing here. It is fan art from Attack on Titan, Eren from Attack on Titan, and Attack on Titan even. It's the same picture that I'm using as well as reference. Back when I did the original I didn't really have a clue about mixing colours very much and that can definitely be seen from the original. The original took me probably about 10 to 20 minutes to paint. It was very quick. There was no sketch involved, I literally just went straight into it with paint. This time, however, I sketched it properly and I definitely worked on my colours a little bit better. The colours themselves were very they're very strange, like student grain paint, it's, it can be quite opaque, this paint, if you put, apply it thick enough. And it can also be used quite transparent. It's very different from definitely the professional watercolour brands I've tried today, or even the Cotman brand, or the Van Gogh brand. You can almost use, use this a little bit like gouache. I found even the white was opaque after two layers when I used it. The set itself is a great set, I enjoyed revisiting it, and they are quite fun to paint with. I didn't find them too difficult to work with either, compared to my professional line, they behaved a little bit differently, the flow and the spread of the colour is not the same. Apart from that, I can get quite nice colours and it was not too difficult to use.
as there is a stronger drying shift I did need more than one layer of paint where sometimes I might only apply one or two such as the hair, the brown in the hair which I mixed myself with the colours needed about four applications usually it probably only needs sort of two with my normal artist grade watercolours same with the skin tone as well I found it needed an extra layer on top I don't often find this when doing illustration pieces with my normal watercolours it tends to be one layer and then I do another two or three layers for like the shading and the shadows and the blush this took a lot more than that As well, this is great to show that you don't need to have artist grade watercolours to make decent artwork. I'm actually quite happy with this illustration piece. It only took about an hour, maybe just over an hour to paint, but it was pretty fun to paint. It was nice to paint with these the set again. It wasn't anything too in depth, it was quite a small piece. It's only half an A4 sized piece of paper, and it was really nice to be nostalgic and revisit this set. If you are based within the UK and are looking at getting into watercolours, I definitely recommend this as a starter set. I believe the full price is about £10, I got it on a sale at about 5 It's from the WH Smith, I will leave a link to their website in the description. However, I don't think you can get this if you are in the US or abroad. Now as I said, March is my channel anniversary. I am doing some more videos exploring my art journey and as well keep an eye out for towards the end of March for a special giveaway that I'm doing celebrating my one year anniversary. So what was your first palette? What were the colours you used, the brand, were they cheap, were they expensive? Did you dive right in at the deep end and get some artist grade or did you start with Cotman or Van Gogh or some like dollar store paint like Crayola? This palette here is definitely a step up above Crayola. It's not quite in the same league as Van Gogh and Cotman, but good nevertheless. I'm also using the same brushes here that I started with and I still do, still do use them. These are the Winsor & Newton foundation brushes. I find the number 6 still has a good point after all this time, even if it is a little bit thin since I first got it. Now if you don't want to miss out on that giveaway and some more insight onto my art journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. And if you really like this video and this channel, please leave a thumbs up and a comment letting me know how you feel about it. Now as promised at the end of the video, I am going to show you the old artwork of this and the new one. I'll show you the old one first, and then the new. And you will see a huge difference in the two. It's very important to remember where we started on our art journey and how far we've come is a great reminder of how much we've improved. Even in a short amount of time of two years, I can really see a huge, vast improvement in my artwork. And it's very inspiring and very uplifting to see. So I hope you have enjoyed this and thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. I shall hopefully see you for more videos throughout March, including that special giveaway. 
So thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Bye bye.